exams and applications for university, but I really needed to talk to someone who would understand. I'm not talking with her. Algae right now, so I decided I'd post this video privately and send you a link. Otherwise, he'd see it on my channel. I was just so surprised that he lied. I don't. When he first visited that day, I was so excited. It was all a blur, it, yet it felt so perfect. And of course, looking back, I see how shallow it all was. I I would have kissed him that day. I would have done a lot of things. But he stopped. I had this ridiculous ideal set up in my head, and now I'm paying for it. All that was just so stupid at the beginning. And all I knew about him was based on my fangirl fantasies. You know how we create these fantasies, these people who are too perfect to be real? Well, Anne, this was real. I, I mean, it felt real. But it was too good to be true. I was blinded by these dreams, and I was silly, and I was over-romantic. I didn't even know him, and Anne, my heart, it, it hurts so much. You lied to me. A lot. And that hurts. So much, but... I've had a lot of time to think, not talking to algae. And I've realized that even though we met like we did, we still have something. I still love him. It's just not like anything I expected love would feel like. I don't, don't feel in love with him right now. And I feel betrayed and taken advantage of. I'm not still angry, I I don't hold grudges, but it feels so sad. I do love him. I've been thinking lately, and love, it's not just, it can't be just a feeling. It has to be more than that, it has to be a choice. It's choosing to love someone even when you don't feel in love with them. And I've made that choice, Anne. I know you and I are very public people who are filming our lives and putting it on the internet, but we don't film nearly all that happens. Algie's mm -hmm. been there for me so much. He listens to me talk, and you know, I talk a lot. He makes me tea and wraps me in blankets when I cry about my dad. He listens to me talk about my mom. A lot of people don't like that. It makes them uncomfortable, but Algie does it. We didn't film all of that. It was too personal. I remember one day, I called him after just a hard day with my mom, and he showed up at my door a couple hours later. And I asked him why, and he said, you sounded like you could really use a hug. And I really could, Anne. I really, really could. I guess the point is, he didn't just buy me flowers and tell me I was pretty. He supported me in my hopes and dreams and everything. We were equal partners in everything, and it was wonderful. He's been a perfect gentleman, and he's become 
my best friend. I don't think that was all acting, Anne. I don't think he could have done all that and not meant it. I know he's an actor, but he wouldn't do that. So, Anne, I've decided that I'm going to give Algie a second chance. Not based on my feelings towards him. I don't feel particularly romantic right now, but based off true love. And no, I'm not going to stop being crazily over-romantic and silly and impulsive with him, but having to deal with Algie not being earnest has made me realize the seriousness of giving your heart to someone. I'm going to give my heart to him. Some people are meant to be together, and I believe that we are. Well, I don't know when you get a chance to watch this, but thanks for listening to my rambling Anne. I'm really glad that we found each other.